be opening a ton of new Scarlet and Violet products that you've probably never seen before because as of the recording of this video, the set is still not released yet. In fact, I'm going to be opening two factory cases of these new products. Some of them include new promo cards, other contain new packaging, and a ton more. Let's see if we get something out of here. Oh! Oh! Dude, I've been wanting to pull this for so long! Oh my god! <laughs> what is with the boring in this? I want to see if we get a hyper rare one. Give me the hyper rare. There it is! Oh, dude, let's go! Alright, welcome back everybody. We're gonna start off with this factory case of these checkout lane blisters and we're gonna see the promo cards on here for the first time So there should be two different promo cards that these come with normally So let's pull out this first one at the front there and let's see what we got here Scarlet and Violet begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX So there's the packaging contains one Scarlet and Violet booster pack one promo card one coin Oh, yeah, I forgot about the coin and then a code card for the Pokemon TCG live and like the name says it's a checkout lane blister Which literally means you could usually find these at checkout lanes in Target and Walmart and stuff like that. But anyway, let's reveal this first one. And there we go. Okay. Oh, it's <laughs> Boy Coco. Boy Coco makes the cut. Then there's a really cool promo card and then your pack. So let's open this up and see exactly. Oh my God. They actually got rid of the sharp corners. They always had, they turned these corners really sharp at one point at the end of Sword and Shield and they used to hurt so bad. Okay, but they rounded them off a little bit. So I'm not cutting my fingers when I open these up. That's so much better. Okay, let's check out this coin. So we got Foy Coco. It's a jumbo coin here. Pretty solid. Interesting choice that they went with Foy Coco. I don't know how they choose that or if there's going to be other coins or whatever. But we got Foy Coco on the first one. Then we have this code card here. It has the black borders. I still don't know what like if any of that means anything. But then here we go. Dang! The Spide Ops. And check it out. It actually has the really cool galaxy sort of pattern or whatever the pattern name is for actually like around the borders. That actually makes hollows look way better. I gotta say, hold on, wait, I, I'm gonna compare this. Okay, look at this Quacka Ball. So this is a normal hollow that you pull in Scarlet and Violet base set and doesn't have that pattern. How much better does that do? That looks way better. Like, I, I honestly, like, I feel like all the hollows should have this pattern going on on the borders. Like that, like, I don't know. It just looks way better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Even like the hollow itself, you could see the pattern like coming through there. And then this one, it just kind of just is shiny. It reminds me of back like in the old EX days though. It looks really cool. Honestly, it's making me like hollows more, I gotta say. But anyway, here's the booster pack that you get in here. And then, okay, there's like, okay, yeah, that's on the back of it, whatever. But anyway, let's open this pack up. Let's see if we get some luck. And then it's a black, it has the black borders. I don't know. <laughs> If you guys missed it, we opened a whole booster box up. That had all black code cards. Then we opened up an entire, or like four ETBs. Those had all white code cards. These, the first one has a black um, border code card, if that means anything. We're gonna find out. We got Wiglet, Griever. Let's see if we get something out of here. Sandaconda. Oh! <laughs> first pack at the checkout lane. Definitely. Oh my god. You know that impulse buy right there? That would have been this one. <laughs> That's insane. Dude, I've been wanting to pull this card for so long. First freaking pack. Oh my god. Yo, for me personally, that's one of my favorite pulls in this set. I wanted the Arcanine, and I wanted the Gyarados. Like, in the Japanese set, I was looking for this set, this card for so long, and I couldn't pull it. But we got it here. It's the Double Rarity, or no, also known as the Ultra Rare. Wait a second. We interrupt this program to let you know that the official Pokemon packs are in stock now. But here's the cool part. The Mega Bonus Pack, which could be any pack as old as the original 1999 base, all the way through to every single generation of Pokemon cards ever made. You'll have a shot to pull any of the four tiers which are colored accordingly to the rarity. To start it off, we have the lowest tier, which is the green tier, and that gets you another Sword and Shield pack. The next step up is the red tier, and that gets you any set from the Sun and Moon or X and Y era. But keep your eyes peeled for the silver tier, which can get you any set from the black and white era of Pokemon. And finally, we have the gold tier. That gets you anything from the original Wizard of the Coast era, such as Base Set, Jungle, Fossil, as well as the Harkold Soul Silver era, Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, and more. And as always, odds are listed on the back packaging so you know exactly what you could pull. You can grab your Poke Red packs at thepokecave.com, but make sure you grab them soon because we have a hard time keeping them in stock. So click that first link down below into the description. All right, so there's usually two different promo cards that you get in these. I'm gonna move down here. It's usually like split in half, so I would think maybe this one. Okay, let's see. Let's get this out of the way. All right, same thing on the back, but let's flip it over. Oh, the Espathra is going to be the promo. And it's another Foy Coco coin. Okay, interesting. Let's pop this open. Oh, my God. So much better. These are so much better. Here we go. Okay, so, yeah, you get the Foy Coco coin again. But then the Espathra right here. 
and it has that same pattern on the borders. Again, let me know what you guys think, but... Oh, it has a swirl at the top there, too. A different type of swirl than what we're used to. But what do you guys think of this artwork and how this is kind of, like, designed as, uh, with the hollow pattern and everything? Grab that code card as well, and then can we get a second pack magic? Alright, let's go in for it. Interesting. Okay. So, so, okay. Black border again. Is it gonna mean anything? Let's find out. Let's see, because if, if it's just a regular hollow and two reverses, then it, then, and then, I don't know. Then I guess these all have black borders then. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! The Iron Bro, the double star, the double gold star special illustrator. Oh my god, what is with the pull rates in this? I actually can't believe the pull rates. And then there's a hollow right behind it, so maybe they got these right? I, I don't know, let's see what happens. This is actually the second time now that I pulled this card, by the way. The pull rates are nuts! Alright, we're gonna investigate this a little bit further and open more packs, but before we do that, I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be giving away an entire booster box of Scarlet and Violet base set to one subscriber. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Alright, so I still don't know if this code card thing means anything yet. Oh my god, it's like the most confusing thing ever here. Cause like, I, I, I don't know, the booster box was all black code cards. The Elite Trainer boxes were all white, and now we got three black code cards, but I still don't know because we got hits in both of those. Two really good hits. Two really nice hits. Full art, and then a special illustration. Can we follow it up? And it's a regular hollow, so I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Alright, I'm officially lost now. No idea what to expect anymore. But then, but, but with these, so they're all black uh, borders, as or at least that's what I'm getting. I don't know. Maybe it depends on the product, but it still doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But we're, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. Um, but, so I'm going to open up probably the rest of this box, and then we're going to move into the next new product, which is something else that you probably haven't seen yet either. We got some keys. It's definitely nice stuff, what they are doing here with the actual Black Star promos on those uh, regular holo cards, because you get that nice pattern. I mean, it looks good. It looks way better than the regular hollows in the set. Uh, it just, the Black Star promos just make it look that much better. Torkoal, Braylon, Bisharp, Youngster, and a Slowbro. These come case packed, by the way, or actually, no, the case, like the full case is like a whole bunch of these little boxes, but then each one of these little boxes has 16 packs, I think it is. So out of 16 packs, so far, the first two were really nice pulls. Second one was probably the best pull, uh, even though that Arcanine, it's pretty sick. The rarity of the second pull is higher. Sharaptor, and there we go. Another card that we have not pulled. Psychic Energy. Bro, look at the colors on that. Everlasting Darkness. The Bayonet EX. That's an ultra rare. Three big pulls so far out of here. It's pretty awesome. And uh, by the way, I'm probably going to attempt to complete this set on a live stream. Uh, so I probably will do it on release weekend, which will be this weekend coming up. If you're watching this video on release day anyway, I'm probably going to attempt to do it at some point because I think it's very possible. Like I mentioned, another pull of the Slowpoke and another pull of Marindon EX. So this one would be the double rare, which has the two black stars. And then we have an illustration rare, which is the Slowpoke. And we are just piling up with the hits right now. Kind of ridiculous. Let's see if we can get a hyper rare, which is going to be the three star. And uh, as for the code cards, I, don't, I still don't know. What, I have an answer to it, what it means, if it means anything. I feel like it means something. Coriadon EX back to back right after the Mariadon. We got six big pulls so far. Pretty awesome to see out of this uh, little mini display case or whatever you want to call it. Little factory case of these things. Which is pre it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. But let's see what we get in total out of 16 of these. We got Palmont. All right. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we're a little spoiled with how these Black Star promo cards look in comparison to the regular hollows. But hey, they put them in every pack, which is fine. You know what I mean? Like it's in every pack. Um, so it's cool, but let's see what we get here. All right. Fido, the Dene Spirito Ultra Ball, Rocky Helmet, and a regular holo. And by the way, it looks like all these have the Fue Coco coin. So Fue Coco, I guess apparently is the MVP right now because, uh, unless they do, I'll probably do other starter coins and some other products, but Fue Coco got the first release coin. Vitality Man Wiglet. All right, we got a handful more of these, and then we're gonna move on to the next product here. So don't go anywhere yet because I'm gonna show you guys the next product. I think we got like four more packs right now. So we're gonna see exactly how many pulls we get out of here. If we can get a hyper rare out of this, Maridon again. Regular EXs are definitely a lot easier to pull. I don't know if they're easier to pull than Sword and Shields, uh, like D cards and stuff. Kind of feels like it. Kind of feels like it's a little bit easier. Uh, but let's keep going. 
We got. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> bayonet now. The bayonet. What is that on it? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's like stuff. I don't know. Is that supposed to be there? I can't even remember. I feel like it's not supposed to be there. Well, we have the Bayonet EX and then the Bayonet EX Ultra Rare. We got eight pools so far that are uh, EX or better. Oh, whenever you do that, it's just game over. Like, you got to get a good... There you go. That's the way to do it. Okay. You got to just pull it away swiftly. And then you get and then you just get the pack out and you're good to go. If you mess up, you kind of... Eh, you know, it's not going to happen. You're going to get stuck on it. It's going to take you longer. Three. Okay. There. I've just, I've just made my point. I've literally just made my point. Three EXs in a row. So yes, I think EXs are easier to pull. What was that? Nine pulls so far out of 16. Well, it's going to be 16 packs. Two more. Pretty solid. I think at this point, you're more likely to get a pull than not to get a pull. And if you count hollows, then you get them in every pack, obviously. Toad School. Hallucha. All right. So this is going to be the last one here. And it is. All right, let's see. Last pack here. Nine pulls EX or better, I believe it was. So let's see if we can get the, to 10 on here out of 16 packs. We got Muck. And they're moving on to the next product. Varum. And a Coriodon. So nine pulls. All right, check this out. This is the next new product. Can you tell what it is by just looking at this? Let me know. But anyway, I'm going to grab 36 of these out of here. So it's going to be exactly the same amount as a booster box. And you're probably going to see these everywhere. You might, you'll probably see these more than any other product. It's going to be the sleep packs. And these are like kind of like the standard for stores like Target, Walmart, Best Buy, GameStop, etc. to have in. They don't typically have booster boxes just like straight from booster boxes unless it's an LGS or something like that. But for like the big box retailers, they do these. And uh, packaging is definitely a lot nicer. It looks really cool. You can hang them up. And um, they're a little bit safer for like theft and stuff like that because it's in this cardboard. I guess they're probably a little bit. I don't know. It's just easier than having these packs to just throwing around but anyway let's open up 36 hold on wait i don't understand this at all will this finally be the time when we actually get the code cards that mean something i think at this point after i open up this product if they're if they're all white code cards then i don't know it probably it, it, it means nothing then it probably means nothing the denny and cloth and we're still kind of in uncharted uncharted territory here so i'm still figuring some of these things out anyway we got the gyarados as well dude looks so cool with like the crystal look to it let's open this one up so yeah i'm gonna open up 36 of these I want to see if we get better pulls from 36 of these sleep packs or if we had would have had better pulls from like a booster box, which we would probably be getting like between 12 and 14 from a booster box. All right, next artwork here. So I'm going to show you guys all four of these artworks and then we're just going to get right into it and open it up these sleep packs. Well, here we go. Okay, they're all... I, I, well, actually, I can't say yet because I haven't gotten a pull out of these. Let's see if this one has a pull though because it's a white code card. It's a pretty good seat though. No, not in that I one. still don't know for this one. Will we have code cards that mean something? <laughs> what do they mean? <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, as of the recording of this, um, well, this probably dropping. It's probably dropping on a Monday, Mouse Karata. But anyway, if you're watching this video on release day, it's it's Monday, and the set release is on Friday, basically. So I'm gonna open them that way. It's just a little bit quicker. Kind of go through these a little bit quicker, so we can another white code card. Okay. I'm starting to think we're going to get a hit in one of these, and it's going to be all white code cards. Just like every other product's been. Uh, uh, uh. I don't have an answer on these ones yet. Come on. Tell me. I wonder if the code card colors, like, could be all black in different type of cases of these. Did I even show you guys the code card in that one? It's already gone. I already threw it on the floor. I have no idea which one it is. Quackaball, still no answer. Come on. Give me an answer here. <laughs> all right. What's this one? White code card again. I'm feeling like there's got to be a hit in one of these coming up. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Sleep packs. Doing very bad right now. And I randomly pulled these out of that case, so I didn't just grab them all in one row or anything. I just kind of grabbed them, and uh, that was it. Like, so just randomly grabbed them out of there. Grimer. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Our luck has to pick up at some point on these, right? It has to. How are we looking? Okay. <laughs> There's no way. Allo Mamala. There's no way. There's got to be a pull in this. This has to be. There has to be. What? Dude, we've opened like, I think eight, at least eight of these. Probably, probably more by now with not a single pull. Oh my God. Did they... <laughs> Dude, I hope something didn't get messed up here. There we go. Finally, our first pull is a Bayonet EX. We're going to see what color the code card is though. Let's see. White code card. So from what we've seen, this is the fourth different product that I've opened up. And it's either going to have all... White code cards are all black code cards, and they don't mean anything, but they do solve the two different versions. Now, 
I'm gonna assume this is uh, on purpose, because how could they mess up that bad? Magnezone EX. Nice. I think this is probably by design. I don't, at this point, I'm thinking it's probably not a mess up or an error, because it can't be that much of a coincidence that every single product they screwed up on. So, I'm saying code cards don't mean anything anymore. Oh, we got Petty. Let's go. Let's go. We got that special illustration rare. Yo. Wow. That's sick. Special illustration rare. That's a double gold, baby. We pulled everything so far, rarity wise, uh, besides the hyper rare, which is the triple gold star. Let me get one hyper rare. Or one. Yeah, one hyper. Woo, King Gamut. There we go. We got this. Bro, the card that I wanted for so long. We got it two times in a double banger pack. What do you guys think? All right, that's a spe that's an illustration rare, the one gold star, and then the double gray or silver star. Woohoo! All right, we'll take it. That was a terrible woohoo. Woohoo! That's better. You gotta commit to it. You can't just no. You gotta commit to the woohoo. All right. <laughs> Quackaball. The dancing Pokemon. All right, we're almost through the first row here. Uh, we're picking up on the pulls that start off really terrible. Like, terrible, terrible. But now we're doing better. Potion. Mabustive. And an Iron Tread. Dude, we're getting the double banger packs out of here. Still white code cards on all of them. Whoa, okay. I I'm telling you guys, like, we're pulling all the cards from this set already. I think I have three or four of the hyper rare cards. There's only six in the entire set. Special illustration rares. By now, we probably have at least half of them. And there's, I think there's ten in the set, I want to say. Half of those, those are the two hardest, toughest rarities to pull. And then, um, I mean, the illustration rares shouldn't be too tough to get all of them. The ultra rares, probably got at least half of those. Maybe even more than more than half of those. And we, we've opened up a decent amount of stuff, but it's nothing, like, ridiculous. Like, I'm not sitting here for 12 hours opening stuff to get all that. So, yeah, it's definitely more doable. Definitely more, more uh, possible to complete a set like this, honestly. So, that's cool. Let's see what else we can get, though. Can we get a Hyper Rare today? We gotta be able to get a Hyper Rare. Meow Skorada. All right, this is the last row right here of the sleeved packs, they're called. All right, sleeve packs. I'm pretty sure sleeve packs cost more at retail than normal loose booster packs that are not sleeved. Energy Cert. There we go, Gyarados. I want the, I want the other version. I want the other version. I want the Ultra Rare version. So weird not saying, like, Secret Rare anymore, Trainer Gallery. I'm trying to get used to it. Uh, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. It's just different. No more rainbow, rainbow rare, like, very different. Skeletors. I got used to saying that. So, you know what I'm wondering now? They used to, like, if you go on the Pokemon website, Pokemon.com, go to the trading card game section, and you look at the set list, secret rares, since they're a secret, they never put the secret rares on the set list to be able to look at it. They just don't put them there because they're secrets. I wonder if they're going to put the whole set up. On the website and i guess they would hide them because they were quote unquote secret rares so hyper rare is not a secret so but it has that pull rate basically so i don't know we'll see team star grunt we pulled this one earlier but we'll take another one ultra rare pool all right got a handful more probably like 12 more packs uh we'll be able to tell actually let me keep track of how many pulls we got so far so i can see if we get more from these 36 than from the from a booster box i think we got nine so far i might have miscounted by one and i can't remember if that bayonet was no the bayonet wasn't so i think we got nine yeah we got nine pulls so actually doing pretty good uh if you compare to like a booster box we still got way more packs left i did randomly pick them out of there though so we'll see i'm gonna see what else we can get out of these let me know if you guys are gonna be opening this setup when it releases on friday if you've opened it already i don't know if you can still find if you can find it at some card shops yet or, or what i think some of them actually can sell it earlier if they have like the leagues and stuff like that mariah don there we go it's hit number 10 i don't know how much earlier they're, they're uh, able to sell them i'm not really sure i think it's at least a couple days earlier but i'm not 100 percent sure <clears throat> but if you go to pre-release events you can open up a build and battle box and you can probably get some extra packs cloth and mariah don all right 11 pulls so far pretty good but we still didn't get a hyper rare i want to see if we get a hyper rare out of one of these come on Give me the hyper rare. Catnia, Marie, Torkoal, Breloom, La Bebe. Oh, I'm definitely gonna see a lot of the same hollows. I actually don't know how many hollows are in this set. I don't think. Oh, well, there's probably could be a lot, honestly. And like, you just get since you get hollows in pretty much every single. Very oh, dude, let's go. It's the other gold card, rare candy now, dude. We have almost every single hyper rare card 
in this set already. It's ridiculous. It is so crazy. That's like actually impossible to be to get that many, like complete of the the secret rare part of the set. Uh, if you compare it to Sword Shield, like it's just crazy. We're missing like one or two more gold cards. I think they're energies. I think they're energies. Or Coridon, maybe we didn't get. Yeah, I think we didn't get Coridon and maybe like an energy. So I think we might be missing like two out of the six. Oh gosh. It's actually. <laughs> We're so used to like trying to complete a set here that uh, I don't. I think like this is actually reasonable. I think this is reasonable. Greedent, Alo Mamola, Picnic Bastard, Coriadon. Or I assume some people will probably go like this, like that, and then that. But it's like, what do I do with the energy? Am I gonna actually put this to the front, or am I gonna take the energy and just go like that, or just put it somewhere? <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Toad's cool. Final three packs. Honestly, we got pretty much almost exactly the same amount of pulls as a booster box so far. Um, did we get a special? Yeah, we did. I think we did, right? Yeah, I think we got pretty much. It was actually pretty close to a booster box. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just randomly grabbed them out of there. So it could have went. <laughs> it could have went drastically different ways, probably. Although the pull rate is pretty consistent in this set, from what I've seen. Tropius, Great Tusk EX. Yeah, that's crazy. That's 14 pulls. That's pretty spot on with the booster box, at least from the first booster box and second one that I opened up. But let's see if we get our last booster pack here. And I have plenty more Scarlet and Violet openings coming up. We actually got another pull and an NDD Hollow. All right, guys, but that is still not all the Scarlet and Violet new release products. I have more videos coming up, so make sure you're subscribed. If you enjoyed the video, though, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.